Finally, there is a GPU miner that is easier to use than an ASIC miner. Let's review it. The Manda Miner is a server chassis built GPU mining rig hosting seven RX 574 gigabytes. As you can see, this is one of the cleanest mining rig builds I've ever seen, especially in a server build. You notice in some of the other server builds we've had, we've had from really no wire management to pretty good wire management to this is just over the top, almost over engineered wire management. And as a from a consumer point of view, I like it. m and Technology have their own custom version of Linux and wow, does it make setup pretty freaking easy on this. Coming from back when I was using NVOC and I was just lost in the sauce of Linux and going through all these commands, and please understand, you know, two years ago I couldn't build a computer and I sure as hell could not use Linux. Times have changed. This mining rig in comparison though, could be used by anyone. You ha could have zero Linux experience, zero mining rig experience, and all you have to do is fill in the box, what, two times and click a button, you'll be good to go. The chassis they have is nice and clearly customized, and it's sporting not five, 10, or 12, but 14 fans, excluding the CPU fan, and the seven, well actually 14, GPU fans that are actually on the GPU housing. The cards are using were a little disappointing. They're the Asus Strix versions. It's not the best heat sink on there, but again, it's a four gigabyte, so it's gonna be fine either way. All the components are you know, pretty basic, all you really need for a mining rig. My only complaint, I guess, would be they're using the Sparco power supply. It's a gold, which you know I understand gold, that's fine. I'm not gonna ding them for the gold. Obviously, I prefer platinum titanium, but realistically, the price for a gold PSU is like astronomically less than platinum power supplies. But the real issue here is when I was mining on it, just you know, out of the box on 120 volt right here in my house, residential electric, on Ethereum, I was pulling over 1200 watts. So it was actually pulling, um, when, it, when it got a little toasty in here, about 1250 watts. That is exceeding 100% usage of a power supply, which is not safe. They said in their testing that they get about 1100 watts. So I don't know what the discrepancy there was, but after I switched it over to a kryptonite heavy algorithm, as expected, the power consumption was extremely reduced down to about 720 watts. Keep in mind, you get slightly better efficiency when you are running on 240 volt, which this power supply included in this rig is capable of doing both. I used their custom Linux build, which was running F minor to mine Ethereum, and I pulled that out and then I installed a USB stick. I'm running SMOS, you guys know I like to run SMOS, it's just easy using my dashboard, and I wanted to try it out on some other miners. With that, I'm using an XMR stack and I'm getting about a little over 600 hashes per card at a 900 uh, core undervolt. I'm running 1150 on the core as well as 2000 on the memory power stage six. Again, these settings could be tuned a little bit further, but this is just a nice baseline. They cut my power usage if we round up almost in half. Pretty, pretty nice if you ask me. Especially at my 11 cents, 10 and a half cent electric rate. They're trying to jack it up. I'm not happy about it. If you're wondering about the price point of this rig, Mana Miner did allow me to review this unit and all the links are in the description and they also provided a coupon code, which is simply BossCoin to use if you'd like to get this rig. I'm not saying I recommend it, I'm not saying I don't. I want you to watch this video and form your own conclusions and do your own research and see if this mining rig is the right fit for you. I would like to see them build out other coin options, like a lot of other coin options. Maybe that would be like their feature because right now the only two coins you can mine with this rig out of the box unless you you know start messing around in that actual Linux build or change the operating system like I did to a different Linux build of SMOS, then you will be stuck mining either Ethereum or Zcash. And guess what miner is arriving at my house today? Yeah, the Ant Miner Z9 Mini. That would be the Equihash ASIC miner. This rig does 2,000 hashes on Zcash, aka the Equihash mining algorithm. In comparison, the Z9 miner does 10,000 hashes for a lower price point and lower power consumption. That's not a ding to them, that's not their fault. I'm just saying that they're gonna need to adapt and evolve if they wanna stay relevant in this GPU mining market because it is absolutely shifting and changing pretty rapidly. All in all, it's a very nice mining rig with top tier wire management, really I think setting a new bar for what should be expected from pre-built mining rig manufacturers. I like 
like the custom case they told me that they have the ability to produce about 500 units or so per month so they are not some basement startup they are an established company that is capable of doing volume which would be more relevant for a farm build out I, I talked to a lot of these big farm build outs and the biggest thing they complain about is putting all of these mining rigs together you know when we're doing it more or less on a hobby or small scale business level it's okay I get it you know we can make the time to build the rigs but when you've got to put a thousand GPU mining rigs together Together, you start losing your mind after probably like 40 50 as always I think pre-built rigs absolutely have their place of course you will save money if you put the rig together yourself it's like if you did anything yourself you could paint your house for less than you could hire someone that's kind of the point if they're gonna do the work they've got to make money in some Avenue if I could change or upgrade anything on this rig I would probably start with the cards these cards had the Apita memory which is similar in performance to like the Hynix where I'm getting about 28.5 mega hash per second per card. I did the one click BIOS model, which we have a video tutorial on, and that did not change the output of the card at all in the stock form or in the performance of mining Kryptonite V7 and Kryptonite Heavy. So it looks like they're running a BIOS modded version. We're still topping out at 28.5 mega hash a second. One other thing, I don't see any mining rigs incorporate, but on a server chassis build, I think it'd be cool, interesting, and probably not that hard to implement. It's just some kind of slide in and out filter. Imagine if we just had a nice little air filter. Think of you know the ones you see on computer cases that just slide out, they got all that gross dust on them. You can just wash them out. That would be nice to see right here on this fan grill. So above all, what do you think of this mining rig? Let me know in the comments below on this video. And also, what do you think about the garage? I'm the first, uh, this is the first review style video shot here since we started to redo a lot of stuff. I got the cabinets up, pretty stoked about it. And I'll talk about that more in another video. I wanna clutter this one up. I know the echo is still bad. I got some uh, bass traps on the way to hopefully help with that. But wow, I am so sick of fighting echo. What a nightmare. Thanks for nothing, shotgun Mike. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to do us subscribe hit the like button click that bell so notifications are always on i'll see you next time uh, 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 you got me so i broke my camera no no i didn't mean to do that Ow. <laughs>